people, welcome back to Food Glam Life. I hope you guys are doing well. So currently, I'm actually filming after over a month. We're right in the middle or the height of the 2020 coronavirus lockdown. I have been quarantined, self-quarantined and at home for a good three weeks now. Yeah. So yeah, it's it's been hard. It's been weird. I think it's been weird for the whole world. So when I do go out for an essential errand and I'm driving and, and you know, the videos you're seeing are around the world, it really feels like it's like this weird dystopian dream. Like, you know, like when you have those kind of weird dreams that when you tell someone about them, the person's like, that sounds really weird. But you're like, yeah, I know. But in the dream it all seemed real and that's what it feels like it's just so odd but i pray i hope and pray that we get over this soon and we can go back to our regular lives and at the same time there's you know a lot of time to reflect i haven't been as productive as i would have hoped but everyone's doing the best that they can given the circumstances and yeah there i guess we take a lot of stuff for granted but definitely have been able to spend some great and a lot more time with my family uh, which is good i think everyone's doing that so coming back to how i'm just always so late at things so last year this is so sad but last year uh, towards the end of last year I uh, decided oh I'm gonna film an Instagram chooses my makeup video on my stories I put out the polls on what you guys wanted me to use and I got the results and you guys were very helpful thank you for those of you who participated you must have forgotten about it now because I never bothered to film it I was like Meh, I'll do it and months passed by as with everything and and I'm here now and I thought, I need to film this video. So we're going to do an Instagram chooses my makeup video. And I'll, I'll show you the things that I had you guys choose. And we'll just get right into it. Let's get started. So the very first thing that, and I think this is probably one of the reasons why I might have just like not done it. But so the first thing was primer. So I said choose between the Becca primer and the Hourglass one. And I did it. And then the very next day, my Hourglass primer bottle broke. It's made of glass. And it was a very weird freak accident. And I literally have kept this broken bottle with me for months just to show you guys. Because I was like, oh, but. But fear not, I was able to save some of it. I put it into this little container that I have. And so I am going to be using this. So the thing about this primer is that it's it's got kind of a silicone feel, but it and kind of feels matte. And it has this like purple iridescence. Which is why maybe I don't think I use it as much. Sometimes it's pretty expensive. Because hourglass ki is expensive. So the next thing that I was told to use. Actually, should I go into eyes first? Because the palette that you guys chose was between the Anastasia and the Zayfide Beauty. I already did a look with the Matam palette. I got the Matam palette. But then I also got the Shokh palette. And I haven't really even played around with it that much. But this is the Shokh palette. It is very, very colorful. So I have not thought of a look as usual but let's see let's just do something so as is with the madam palette there's a row that's called lid shiner so these are shimmery colors actually two rows the first two rows and then we have uh, this thing called crease blenders with these really really bright colors and then there's um these two are dimensionals dark colors i guess for contour and these are highlight brighteners as they call them and uh what colors should we go with i feel like these colors are kind of like all for a cut crease moment so if i end up looking like a clown don't hold it against me okay i realized because these are such bright colors, I want to do my eyebrows first. Yes, I, I'm all over the place. So you guys chose, I had asked between this brand called Jimmy Vogue and the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. You guys chose the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. It's a great brow pencil. So I'm just going to quickly fill in my brows. Right, so I in, did my brows and I put on some tape because I decided I want a very defined kind of a line. So I went in with this color Lali and now I'm going to go in with Niti. Kind of blend that under Lali a bit. Kind of an ombre. And I'm going to go down in the bottom of color. Either purple or blue. Let's see, maybe purple. This is really out of my comfort zone. But it's okay. I'm not going anywhere. I will Kind of like a winged liner. And then on the top, I'm going in with below, which is like this shimmery orange. Right here. These colors are so pigmented. Just for fun, I'm going to take a little bit of this Sony color. Just a little bit and go up here. Mixed with Sony is this golden and then this is Chanda. I don't know what I'm doing, but I want to kind of put that up here. 
without being like too sparkly. Meri aankhen teedi hain, meri ye thodi si badi hai, ye thodi. So if you see like, <laughs> iski jo lid hai, because I have like this little scar injury here, to ye thodi si zada girti hai over my eyelid versus this. So this becomes more hooded than this. So I have to sort of keep that in mind. Now I'm gonna go in with this purple. Niche jo hai, iska naam hai Rano, aur upar jo hai, wo hai Bubbly. In dono ko main use karungi. I'm gonna tilt my head back a bit and then just like create a line. I'm just like literally doing a stripe with the pink and the purple and then I'll blend it later just because I need it to show right now Just gonna take a clean fluffy brush and the top of it. I'm just going to slightly blend together I'm also going to go in with this color Neely on the corners Neely and Shezadi can go right here on the edges Let's do the scariest part, which is cutting the crease. Take some concealer. What should we put on top of this? What will look nice? Guess we could put a little bit of this gulabo. <clears throat> All right guys, so I had to step off of screen to kind of figure out what I wanted to do with the eye and I wanted to use as many colors as possible. So I'm going to recreate what I did on this eye, on this eye for you guys, basically from inner to outer. I went in with this color and this color and then this color and this color. And then, so it's like a very, interesting very pretty kind of a gradient i'm kind of happy with it so i'll go step by step and i'll tell you what i did and then how i clean up on the sides so the very first thing with our base i started with gulabo i took a flat brush which i can't seem to find now here it is so i took a little bit of gulabo and i mixed it with a little bit of below so this pink on the bottom it's a very shimmery kind of a pink on its own it isn't really much but then when it was mixed with the below it looks really pretty and so just put that right in the inner corner then i went again with this shimmery like coral peach color just called below and overlapped it and went a little further right and then i went in with sony which is this golden and then did the same thing kind of overlapped it and went a little further then I took another brush, I can't remember which brush I took, and I went in with Prito, which is this green color. And if this doesn't really work, then I'm going to use my finger, because I did do that as well. And did the same thing, just kind of lightly, right? And then I went in with Neely, which is this blue color, and just patted that in. And this is where we're going, we're getting towards the end. This green is not showing, I'm going to go in a little bit more here my with my finger and then like with the purple bubbly and and the initial colors I'm just gonna go and fill that up again I wish my eyebrow didn't do this on my eyelid so if it looks uneven again it's because this falls a little lower on my lid than this one and then I'm gonna pull this tape off because I want to see what I'm doing and kind of clean up a little bit better. So I'm just going to keep building up the darker side over here. Hmm. I'm going to try seeing if I can put in a little bit of this patajo on top. Like I don't have glitter glue right now, so. Whew. Okay, so I'm going to leave that there for now and then we're going to come back for the bottom. Let's clean up. Okay. I'll start again with the primer. I get so stressed out when I do looks like this. But anyway, so now it's the fun part, or the easy part, I should say. So before I put on my foundation, I am going to put go in with a little bit of concealer first. Just because the dark circles are just a little crazy. Now the, um, so I asked you Makeup Forever foundation versus the Born This Way foundation and you guys you chose the Born This Way foundation so the uh, shade I use is light beige this really is a very nice foundation it both of them are actually very nice but yeah this applies very nicely and um, it's very easy to blend and it just kind of looks like second skin 
and you don't really need a lot either. I have a pump use kiya hai, two pumps. So I'm brush use kar rahi I'm just gonna use the brush to like initially apply it. And then I'll use a sponge to finish because that's how I like like I like the finish of a sponge and the brush is just quicker. I'm going over my lips. Normally I don't, but this will just help me get a very nude base. All right, so in concealers, I asked if you wanted me to use the Born This Way concealer versus Tarte Shape Tape. Majority of you wanted me to use the Tarte Shape Tape. So I'm just gonna go in. There were diff two different shades that I was using. One is light medium sand, and the one before I was using was light medium honey. Usme thoda sa pinkish touch A little bit of this concealer goes a long way. You don't really need as much as I'm applying. Lekin, because I have this very smoked out, very, very colorful look, I'm just kind of overdoing it on purpose. We have the base down. I'm just going to use some setting powder. Now I'm going to do the bottom part of my eyes and for that, I have the Lali and the original two colors. I'm going to use a little bit of that just right on here just to tie it in. Now I'm going to go in with another color because I want it to be a little different on the bottom. I'm going to go in with this color Goody. It's a very turquoise -y kind of a color. Let's see how it looks. Yeah, it's coming out kind of purple on the bottom. I'm going to go again in with this green Preto just to kind of make it more blue versus purple. I've gone pretty low with this, probably the lowest I've ever gone. I'm going to go in with the green right at the edge of the purple and blue. Add some turquoise. All right, for the bronzer, you guys chose the Hula Bronzer by Benefit. You know, it was a competition between this and uh, the NYX bronzer. But you guys chose this one, so... The brush that comes with this is actually very useful because it really gives you a good contour. It's a good place to start because it gives you very precise lines. But you have to remember to blend them out. So the next thing you guys chose for blush, you wanted me to use the NARS Orgasm. This is a great blush. I'm just going to use the same brush, the bronzer brush. I think this would be a great shade with the current eyeshadow scheme we have going on. And before we continue, I'm gonna apply some lipstick. I actually didn't ask you guys about lipstick. I should have, but it's okay. I have chosen this bourgeois lip liner called Nuts About You. It's a very nice nude shade and applies very creamy. I had like a total mooch on my face. I can just see it. All right, and uh, over this, I'm going to apply MAC Key Lipstick Velvet Teddy because I want like a nude, nude, lipstick next to all this craziness that I have going on up here. It's coming together. For eyeliner, I asked you guys if you wanted me to use the Benefit Roller Liner versus the NYX Epic Eyeliner. And you guys chose NYX, which is great because I actually prefer this to the Benefit one. Right in the inner corner, I'm doing a little bit of this Chanda, which is kind of this white silver shade. So before I put on lashes, we have highlighter and mascara. So for mascara, you guys chose the Essence Volume Stylist. I do love this mascara a lot. It does a pretty good job. You see? I don't even have lashes on right now, but I am going to put lashes on. Finally, for this was of the closest call in highlighters. It was between the Ofra Rodeo Drive and the Becca Opal. Again, both of them are excellent. I love both of them, but this is the one you guys chose. So we're gonna use this and give a good spritz of setting spray with MAC Fix Plus because you guys chose this over the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray Mist. I'm just gonna put this on my brow bone as well, right on the top. Gonna get my lashes on and I'll be right back. All right guys, so I got some lashes on and I have some gloss on and this is the look that you guys chose. You guys chose my makeup for me today. Thank you so much, Instagram. I hope you liked it. I thought it was kind of interesting. I now have some Instagram shots because I usually don't do this kind of makeup and I don't even put it on Instagram, but now I do. <laughs> so I wanted to thank you guys for taking part in my polls and letting me know what makeup to use. I hope you guys like the look that I made with the makeup you guys chose for me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I'll be reading your comments. Let me know what you liked, what you thought of the look. And I'll see you next time. Take care. Goodbye. Mwah.